Hey guys, Rick for Sonus here, back with part 3 of the How to Make Future Bow series. In this part we'll be discussing the mix down. In the other parts we have discussed the bass line and the lead scenes. And for more presets like this, make sure to take Future Bounce for your one down below in the description. There's a link down there. The final result that we'll be making will sound something like this. So now let's dive into the mix down. First we start off with a kick. It's this kick. You've lowered it down around 90 bs. So there's more room for other elements. Then we're gonna mix in the clap. We've got a little room reverb. That's not compression. We've mixed it in around here. Then the last part of the drums is this drum loop. This first loop comes from bass house for if you're interested in a pack, make sure to check down the link in the description. It sounds like this. We've put a room reverb on it as well. And we look at it to make more room for our for the bass elements. So that's it for the drums. Now let's dive into the bass line. So we're opening up the bass pattern. It's this one. And that's two things. The sub bass and the main bass. So first dive into the sub bass. It's this one. We've high cut it to 150. Then we distort it a little bit. Just like this. Then we've got another EQ. High cut it to 150 as well to make sure there's no highs to in it. So it won't and we'll conflict with the other bass. And to finish up the sound, we've distorted with the wave shaper. It gives this effect. Just on here. And of course we sidechain it. So now let's mix again with a kick. So we put it around here. So now let's dive into the second bass line. So we're enabling the second bass line, sound like this. So we've low cut it around 150 to make sure it won't go flick with the sub bass. And we've put some OTT to it, without a sound like this. And with, it sounds like, something like this. We've put it around 30%. So now let's mix it in. Just like this. So there we have a bass line and the drums. So now let's dive into the lead section. So open up the lead pattern. It's this one. So first let's mix in the main lead. It's this one. So first we put out the to it. Without it sound like this. We have to sound like this. We put it a further percent. And then we have to it. We have to low cut to make sure the lows are clean and we boost the highs a little bit to open up the sound we didn't change the volume of the lead because we have routed to the lead bus it's over there so first let's mix in the other two layers it's on channel 2 and 3 it sounds like this so we've got both the same processing this one got an OTT about 30% in the low cut and the other one got a stereo enhancer to open up the sound a bit to make it more wider and the low cut as well obviously so then it's linked to the lead bus and the lead bus we have a low cut of course it's something like this we've compressed it to make it more one sound we've put a wave shaper to it to distort the all the leads a bit. And to finish up the sound we side chain it. So now let's mix in the lead scenes. So go to the sound your bass. And now mix in the leads. Just one here sounds great. So the last thing we're handling is the master channel. 
We only have to put a limit to it to make it more louder. We only have limited to it because we've mixed it quite clean. So that's it. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And if you want more future bounce presets, make sure to check the link down below. And I'll see you in the next video.